My dad wanted us to see the world and we drove from New York all the way to Tierra del Fuego in the tip of South America. We drove all along the Andes of South America to the very tip. We spent a year in Patagonia. My dad was a bush pilot and he worked for all kinds of people. Well, we have found one of the sources of wealth. It is water, and it comes down in many rivers from the mountains in our country. Tonight we are talking about are we going overboard and destroying our environment in the process. Mr. Kimo Jaling, who is an engineer. In this case is a river, which is an ecological system, and we're trying to get energy from it. So there's a, there's a trade-off. You can get energy from the river and convert it into electrical energy, but you have to do it right. We do right here in Belize? Um, no. Me, the main implication was neo-colonialism, where you don't have a, 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 a country bringing an army in and conquering your country and making you its colony, but you have your government being bought off by a corporation and given these corporations rights in your land, so a corporation is basically conquering a piece of your country by bribing your government. We, we like to look at environmental issues in isolation, but we don't want to, because we don't want to think that we have to worry about poverty and, you know, democracy and all these different things of somebody else. We want to worry about the environment. But if you don't worry about those social issues, then you can't improve the environment because people will, will worry about themselves first. If they're poor and don't have electricity or they're much more uh, vulnerable to abuse than if they're standing upright. Consumption of high mercury levels can lead to mental retardation in children, poor development of infants, vision impairment, nervousness, and weakening of muscles in the hand and feet. Since 2007, the Ministry of Health has been observing the fish in the Macaul River for levels of mercury. So to me, those are all issues in social justice. When you only have a monopoly that owns a utility and now that's owned by a foreign company, you're not in a very good position to negotiate with them. So you have to achieve social justice for there to be environmental justice. 